Did you just go through a breakup and you're wondering how long should you take to heal before you get back out there in the saddle because you know you can't sit there and suffer forever? If so, watch this video. I'm gonna give you some specific numbers. So about those numbers, I can't tell you exactly how long that you, for your own situation, should sit there and take you know, to mourn the loss of your person, okay? But what I can do is tell you my story. So with my ex-girlfriend, you know, I dated her uh, in my mid-30s and um, you know, we moved in together about after about three months. And we dated each other for about a year and a half. And, you know, she had a couple of kids and I was taking care of them. My kids were out of town. But, you know, over that year and a half, I put in a lot of time. I put in a, a lot of dedication. I was faithful to her and I was really into her. And of course, she ended up cheating on me and dumping me. And even though there was a lot of drama and toxicity there and all this kind of stuff, at the end of the day, it hurt. So in my case, when she dumped me, I moved out and I went to go live with my parents for about a year. I stayed in the basement because I was coming out of a divorce and a bankruptcy and all these things. And honest to God, I didn't do anything for like two months straight. Is that the best thing to do? Maybe not, but I didn't want to go to the gym. I didn't want to go talk to my friends. I didn't, I didn't really do anything except for like watch Netflix and go work. But after about two months, I was healed up enough to get back out there into the dating world. Now, one of the things I did during this time was to allow myself to feel the sadness. You know, I knew that if I was stuffing down the feelings, they were just going to come up again later. So during that two month period, I really took the time to mourn the loss of what to me felt like something I was really into. Now, with my particular story, I ended up reattracting her for a brief period of time. Then she just dumped me again. OK, and I went back out of the dating world again. And I don't think it was until about six months after we broke up where I was really to a place where I was all the way emotionally over her. You know, I was able to date again after about two months, but it took me about six months to get to the point where, you know, I was much more fluid. I was much more emotionally open and just like in a greater state of health. Now I've heard it said that longer relationships require a longer time of mourning. You know, if you've been married for a long time, you know, it's, it might take you a lot longer than two months. But maybe by understanding my story, it should give you a little bit of a reference point as to what you're going through personally. But I think the takeaways are this, take time to mourn the, the real loss of what you had. Don't stay idle forever. Get back out there and do stuff and be willing to date other people again. And lastly, don't do what a lot of guys do, which is to take responsibility for everything that went wrong in the relationship. Understand that a lot of it was on her as well. If she dumped you, you know, it's probably because she didn't want to face certain problems that you guys could have worked through together. So allow yourself some dignity in stepping back out there into the dating world, which is going to be hard at first. Okay. Don't think that you're just not worth it. And if you want a helping hand with some of this stuff, you can click on my profile. There's a link in there and we can work together to get you back out there when it's time.